What's up fellow citizens of the world? Jordan Patrick here and welcome to my channel. So it is the finals of Roland Garros this weekend and so I figured why not make a mini day trip out of this and drive to Breve. Now Breve is a one hour drive from Limoges and I've never been there before so I figured why not bring my bike and I can do a little tour, show you guys around and then let's watch the finals. So on y va, c'est parti. So just so you know, sports bars are much more of a common thing in the American culture, not so much in the French culture. But I did find this website that I'm super happy about because it does tell you all the different sporting events that are taking place and where you can see them. So I'm banking on this website. I hope it's correct. And let's get on the road. Okay, so just a little information about Breve. It's located in the Nouvelle Aquitaine region in the southeast of France. It is in the department of Corrèze, and although it's the most populated town in the Corrèze, it's not the capital. The capital is Tulle, and I plan on going there for another day trip soon because I hear they have great chateaux. Wow, this is such a beautiful ride with the leaves changing, it's very scenic. And there's not a lot of cars on the road. It's only one hour straight there. And wow, it's a beautiful ride. about a 15 minute bike to the city center and that's going to be like the most comfortable way to go about this. Like I hate parking in the city center. So So we've made it to Breve. I'm here at the McDonald's and it's time to get going. I'm going to show you the little map of where I'm going and first off on our list is going to be the tower Chateau d'Eau. And uh, from there, there's a nice viewpoint. So uh, yeah, we love viewpoints and that's going to be where we start. So don't let these beautiful Toy Story clouds fool you. This was not the most beautiful ride. And actually, a lot of these streets were really worn down and there were a lot of holes and it was bumpy. It was just not the most pleasant ride. So can our tax euros please go towards fixing these roads? It would make it a lot better for the environment because more people would be willing to ride a bike. And uh, yeah, so this wasn't the most beautiful ride, but once I got into the city center, it got a lot better. Okay, so they're not back from their lunch break now. So yeah, I just got 20 minutes to kill and then I'll come back to go up the Google Maps told me that that municipal was closed, but I don't know, it looks open to me, but I was too nervous to check it out.
So this city center seems a lot smaller than Limoges, but because it's smaller, I also feel that there's a lot of people in the very the city center, you know? Um, beautiful church. Ah, and the sun has come out, feels good on the skin. I haven't seen the sun in like three weeks, so ah, this is the life. Good choice, Jordan. Okay, that was a cute little city center. Um, now let's go back to Chateau d'Eau. See, go up the tour. See the nice view from there, and then let's go find a sports bar. Whew, I am out of breath. Wow, check out that view, isn't it beautiful? So online it said that you had to pay to come up this tour, but it's actually free and you have a nice panoramic 360 view all the way around. So yeah, if you come Saturday morning, you can see above the whole market and they have them three times a week, which is really cool. I missed it this morning, too bad. Um, but you could see there that there were still some flower shops still open, but usually you have a lot of food and you have a lot of people selling things, so that's really cool. Yeah, too bad I missed it. I wish we had a tour like this in Limoges. Uh, I don't know any like viewpoints that we have, but uh, yeah, I have to do some research and see if we have one because this is my favorite thing. I can sit up here all day. If you're living in Limoges, please let me know if there are towers like this or anything where you have a nice viewpoint. So now it's time to go get a good seat for the match. It starts in about 45 minutes and we're gonna go to Lugombeta, which I found through that website. So let's go check it out. Hey guys, so this postcard is actually not for a friend or a family member, but it's actually for one of my subscribers. So in one of my French videos with English subtitles, I had a little Easter egg which was a little clue and it said to write me on Instagram if you're seeing this little Easter egg and I will send you a postcard from my next visit. So here I have the postcard and I'm going to send it to the girl who wrote me. Yeah, so be looking for it in the next coming weeks and uh, here we go. I'm not gonna sit there and watch it in a freaking tobacco, tobacco shop or whatever that was. Um, not good. So we're going to Lou Watson, which seems to be like an actual brasserie sports bar looking place. Let's hope so. If this one's not better, then screw it. I'm not watching it here. They're setting up now, so I have to be back in like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And they, I just asked them if they're gonna have the match and they said yes. Uh, so yes, we got a good place and this place looks awesome. It's called Lou Watson. That means it's time for the match. Cheers. Those are really good points. It's a pretty close opening set. Yeah, let's keep watching. <laughs> Well, that was a pretty intense first set, but I'm gonna go grab to get my bike because it's still locked up and then I have to go drive to my car and then go home because I am not only watching tennis this weekend, but I'm also playing it. I have practice tonight and it's gonna take me an hour to drive home, so gotta get going. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do a lot of these day trips and traveling around France when I have the time. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. A la prochaine. Ciao, ciao for now. Damn it, this wind. I do a lot of these day trips. I really enjoy traveling around tour and you can go and look all above all these little bugs <laughs> one flew in my mouth huge thing it's not like the in uh, I'm actually really hungry I haven't really eaten since this this morning uh, so yeah I'm gonna get some back though <laughs> yeah that's right um, you know French people actually like McDonald's more than Americans do more French people eat McDonald's per capita than Americans just so you know, the French are the world leaders in McDonald's eaters. I was just interviewed in a podcast and uh, we talked a little bit about that. So yeah, that's to come. I'm, I'm gonna post that on my Instagram. Uh, if you follow me there, then for sure, you'll hear about this eventually when it comes out. Zoom, zoom on the freeway, gotta go, bye.